What up, everybody? This is your boy, DJ Mixmaster, and welcome back to Soul Calibur 2, the Weapons Master mode. Last video, we ended up finishing off Ruchiba's Mandible here in Subchapter 4, Prokyron. And now, for this video, we're going to go ahead and finish off at least... The first four stages, the extra mission. So let's go ahead and get started. First, starting with stage one, Molipine's Crypt. Cannot hold your footing at the edge of the stage. Unseen forces pushes the opponents apart. It is so good that I am using Nightmare, who has huge range. Two souls are fiercely entangled. Offer your soul. Battle one, fight. Yeah, that leaves me just short. Too slow. No, 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 no. Oh, I just missed. Got him. You win. This is it. Final battle. Fight. I'm glad he didn't go through with that because that would have hit. To the Tower of Happiness. The ability to knock back. Uh, <laughs> I hate those. Furthermore, receive heavy damage when knocked into the wall of ground. Oh, great. Okay. Versus Charade. Now, two souls are fiercely entangled. Sword, give me strength. Now, I wonder what the heavy damage is. It heavy damage or is it one shot? Oh my god, I need to... Okay, it's... Oh, that's bull! Okay, get... Get get off the pogo. Get off the pogo. What the... Oh my god, I forgot about kickback. I got you baited so hard. <laughs> oh great, now it's Sung Mina. Don't do that. Okay, I'm getting sick of these combos. Mm. 
Unlock the Phant Phantom Cave in Merak. We'll do that in another video. Whew. But meanwhile, God, that weapon he uh, charade was just using was one of Sung Mina's. It's Sung Mina's holy weapon. I guess you could say it's her soul caliber. It's called the Hairbringer. Hairbringer, I think, or something like that. As you probably saw. It drains her health, and it's like, but every time she strikes with it, she gains health back. And with her being a offshoot, I guess you could say of Keelik, and if uh, you don't know, Keelik is one of the easiest, kind of other than uh, Maxi, for being noob friendly, just easy combos, just stuns and juggles and all of that. So her being an offshoot of that, it makes that weapon and her with that style very annoying meanwhile let's go ahead to stage three Mount Pokiron combatants are launched high into the air when knocked into the ground use air combo so great okay versus Sophitia the end now two souls are fiercely entangled souls give me strength Okay, here we go. Final battle, fight! That's it! <laughs> I was gonna block it, but she ended up grabbing me instead. I, I fell for that. Woo, that was close. Termites at the joke weapon for Maxi. All right, now for stage four, the Link Sarber. The enemies are quick and possess weapons that excel in guard breaks. The monetary prize doubles with each win. Okay. Entrust your noble soul in your sword. Sword, give me strength! What can you do? Battle one, fight! <laughs> I'm good, let's keep going. I'm going all out. Battle two, fight. Is it? 
Again, I'm good. Let's keep going. <sighs> You're definitely not my type. Battle three. Tanny twice, huh? This way. The, the what? Okay, I'm getting sick of this now. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on to me. We're in it right now. All right, you know, let's see. I think we're only 12 minutes in. I think we're pretty good. Let's go ahead and move on to extra chapter two. Extra chapter, ancient hero. You heard an interesting rumor at the Lynx Arbor, a busy gathering spot for strong warriors. The grave of the ancient hero, Art Arctus lied in the land to the south. The hero Artris had wielded a sword just as legendary as Soul Edge. The location of his grave had been a mystery for almost an eternity, but it would appear that someone had found it at last, or at least that's what the rumors said. Even if it turned out to be false, it would definitely be worth the trip. Your decision made, you wasted no time in making your way to Sephiroth. Cephas, sorry. But it's not going to be that easy, said the man who told you of the hero's tomb. A man known as the Gravekeeper resides in Cephas. His duty is to protect Arthras' tomb. He's not just any old warrior, for he's the guardian of the hero's tomb. No one's getting anywhere near that tomb without defeating him first. Circling around the east side of Mount Pokiron, you soon stood overlooking the land of Cephas. With visions of the great hero's sword floating through your mind, you took a deep breath and strode forward. Alright, so here we are, Cephas. Stage 1, for Karuli. Defeat all the enemies under unknown conditions. Great. Okay. While searching for the hero's tomb, you came upon a giant mansion. It stood quite a distance away from the nearest town. You wondered if perhaps it was the home of the gravekeeper. You knocked on the door with anticipation. When the servants' girls answered the door, you introduced yourself and asked to meet the master, but was informed that he was currently away. They seemed surprised to see a visitor. They couldn't believe someone was traveling out there in the middle of nowhere. But when you spoke the name Arturus, their expressions changed. Had you just made a mistake? Oh, DJ Mixmaster is a grave robber. Yeah, I thought from the beginning there was something suspicious about this person. But Master Deduke, Deduke is, isn't here. What should we do? We'll have to deal with this grave robber ourselves. They began to converse in hushed voices. Fortunately, since you were standing right next to them, it was quite easy to hear what they were saying. You readied yourself for the possibility of a fight and waited to see what they would do. Versus Ivy. Not yet. Fate conspired to arrange their battle. Massacre. Give up already. Battle one, fight! <laughs> Ah, uh, she grabbed me first. Okay, I gotta stop. What was that? I'm through with words. 
Battle two. Fight. Let's go. Gods, guide me. Battle three. Fight. <laughs> Final opponent. Don't worry, Talum. Believe in yourself. Final battle. Fight. Ah, Talum with Solage. to the next stage. Stage 2, Irai. Defeat the enemy under unknown conditions. <laughs> okay. Huh. After winning the fight at Kokali, you confirmed that the girl's master was in fact the gravekeeper. You found out his location and left the mansion. Are you the grave robber I've been hearing about? He seemed to have been expecting you. Presumably, the girls had sent out a carrier pigeon with a message. You must be quite a warrior to defeat those girls. They're all stronger than your average warrior. I'm quite impressed. And now I have to fight you. How scary. That's scary how confident he is right now. The man's grin was a stark contrast to his words. See? He proceeded to lead you to an underground arena. Fierce winds whirled inside the vertical tunnel. I'm obligated to fight anyone who would challenge Arctur Arctris's Ugh, tomb. I am the gravekeeper after all. Versus Raphael. A hero desires a sword, and a sword desires. It's that swirling wind, so my guess is probably stay in the air longer if you get knocked up. Yep, you do. Goodbye.
A road to a new stage, Hero's Tomb. Alright, so... With that, I believe this is a good place to take a break. Next video, we'll go back to Prochiron and finish off the chapter by finishing off that dungeon. So, like and comment on the video, subscribe for more gameplay. And with that, see ya. Peace.